What's going on, folks? It's your boy Kavari Tech Media back again with a laid back video. We're going to be doing a catch and cook, but we're still going to have some awesome fishing footage from about a week ago, so y'all stay tuned. And uh, before I get this video started, guys, I just want to give a quick shout out to one of my fans uh, who sent me a ton of sheep's head jigs, uh, black drum jigs, just a lot of. of way more than what I asked for I didn't even ask him but he told me that he was gonna send me a couple of jigs and ended up sending me like 50 of them so quick so huge shout out to you man um, I believe his name is Steven and he does own his own company it's called notorious jigs or notorious custom jigs and uh, he also sent me a decal so I'm fixing to go put that on my kayak and uh, show you guys what it looks like but just want to uh, give a quick shout out to him appreciate it man also, real quick guys, I want to give y'all a little bit of a, a sheep set 101 quick and simple tips that I want you guys to know because I have a lot of uh, comments and these are basically the most um, popular comments that I get on all of my sheep set fishing videos. And I do apologize, the wind is ripping right now, but the first tip I want to give you guys is fish as close to the pylon or whatever structure y'all are fishing at as possible so fish like literally right on it guys you want your bait to be on the pylon if y'all are not getting hung up at least two or three times then chances are you're fishing too far away from it sheep said are rarely going to um, go away from a pylon unless they're spawning or unless they're transitioning from one feeding place to the other so that's the first tip fish literally on the pylon guys that's gonna get y'all a lot more bites the second tip that I want to give you guys really quickly is Sheep's head are not going to bite like other fish, so they're, they're not going to take the bait as, let's say, a redfish or a speckled trout or a mangrove snapper. They're not going to take your bait and just, you know, your rod tip is just going to go straight down. They're going to bite very, very subtle, and what you do is you pull your rod tip up. If it feels like it's dead weight, you set the hook. If not, you don't have anything. So, with sheep's head fishing, a lot of people have that, oh, well, they're just going to bite and take it, and then I'll set the hook. No. They'll bite very, very subtle, and then what, what you do, lift your rod tip up, if there's dead weight, set them. So right there, that's two tips, and with those two tips, I really do think will help you guys out as far as sheep set fishing goes, but all right, let's go see these jigs, and let's go see this guy's decal that he sent me. All right, guys, there it is, Notorious Custom Jigs, and this guy sent me so much stuff. All right, folks, there's a decal right there, pretty cool. But uh, yeah, folks, just wanted to give you guys a little tips on sheep's head fishing 101 and also just give a quick shout out to him because, uh, like I said, really did me a solid and just sent me a ton of free stuff. So, all right, folks, so y'all check it out. Sorry, my truck is an absolute mess right now. I went kayak fishing yesterday, so I have all my gear loaded up. But as you guys can see, I got some right here. Just beautiful, beautiful work. These are the ones right here that have the uh, the free hooks on them that dangle around. And these are just football heads with a straight J hook. But awesome, awesome work. He sent me so much. I mean, just really, really nice. I really do appreciate it, man. Let's get this focus. Y'all can really see. And uh, yeah. Like, like I said, he does uh, custom jigs too, so he can uh, give you anything that y'all want it's based on y'all's needs. But yeah, go and check him out, guys. I'll put his link in the description below. But once again, man, appreciate it. And uh, all right, let's get this video started. We got some epic fishing footage to show y'all and as well as a awesome, awesome catch and cook. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for uh, sticking around during that ramble sesh. Uh, tomorrow I'm actually heading out fishing too, so hopefully we get some epic footage. But as always, thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for showing me support. I love every one of y'all, and uh, alright, let's get this video rolling.
folks. First drop going down. Let's get on some donkeys, why don't we? Got him. There he is, folks. There he is. Come on, baby. First fish, baby. That's what I'm talking about. I don't know what this is either. All right. What are you? Oh, finally, folks. It's been a slow day. Big sheepy. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Big sheepy, folks. No, he's going to get me in the pylons. Woo! Big sheep's head. Ah. Gotta get my dang net. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. That's a stud, guys. Yeah. That is a stud. Oh. Come here, buddy. Right there folks whoo oh my gosh it's been such a slow day oh started fishing at like 9 30 guys and it's 11 right now actually a little bit after 11 so the bite has not been hot if that's what you guys are thinking it has not it has been a grind but check out that freaking bridge donkey folks Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, that right there is the targeted species. An absolute hoss of a sheep's head, guys. Check out those freaking chompers. God, I love catching these things. They fight so freaking hard. Woo, all right. That's a good sign right there, guys first fish of the day a beautiful sheep said catch and cook haven't done one in about a month or so and we got a lot of sheep said as you guys can see right here and we got more over there in the sink but we got a lot of sheep said and my girlfriend's sister is going to be making us some uh, blackened tacos not making us I'm blackening the fish and she's doing the tacos and then Taylor is recording me so it's a team effort but we got our fish right here we're fixing to throw it down, put some blackened seasoning on it, and make some blackened fish tacos. So it's going to be absolutely amazing. Got some of this sauce, not sauce, seasoning, blackened redfish magic, the best blackening seasoning around. And all right, let's, let's get this started. So we got our bowl with the melted butter in it, just like this, or just like that, I should say. And what you want to do is you want to just lay it down first very hot. Me, what I like to do, if I can get this off, you want to put the seasoning on first. And sometimes I did wash my hands, guys, so you guys aren't disgusted. I'm going to put a little bit of seasoning like this and lay it down. I'm going to turn it down a little bit lower because this stainless steel gets hot. Just like that, and then you want to do the same thing for the other ones. 
just want to lay it in butter first, season it a little bit, lay the at side down, season the opposite side, and just keep on repeating. Very simple, and yeah, I've actually never had seafood tacos, so or blackened fish tacos, I should say. I've never had them, so I'm kind of curious on how it tastes. There's always tons of videos of people making them, so it's kind of curious. All right, so once your fish is in the skillet, make sure you guys have a spatula or something to kind of push them around a little bit. And then we just wait. All right, folks, time to flip it. Oh, yeah. Mm. That should be about three or four more minutes, and then it's going to be done. And then we'll just cook the rest, and then it's on to blackened fish uh, tacos. All right, folks, that is our first batch of blackened sheep's head right there. Look at that, falling apart. Super, super tender. And, uh, all right, we're going to turn this down real quick, and we're going to get another batch going. All right, so obviously you want your tortilla. You want your fish, as you guys can see. Right there. All right. So, tongs. So you start off with the with the slaw, right? Mm -hmm. Slaw in, inside of this. Yep. All right. So first things first, guys. We're gonna get the slaw. Now, how much do you usually get? A decent amount, as much as you want. About that. Yeah. All right. So once that's done, we move on to the fish. Mhm. Mm okay. So unravel our fish right here. Probably grab a chunk from there and probably that piece. Just like that. Okay. Alright, guys, so I'm gonna get a little bit of pico on it too. Alright, guys, so moving on, we got our pico on there, and the last thing that I'm gonna add to this is going to be probably a little bit of some sour cream, just like that. Add a little dollop. Is it a mess? No, that's not epic. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, cut the camera. Cut the camera. I'm sorry, I think I just bought them. Alright, we're gonna pull a little bit. Hopefully it works this time. There we go. Boom. Just like that. And that right there is a blackened sheep's head fish taco, guys. We got the sheep's head, pico, slaw. Blackened fish and yeah, a bunch of other stuff going on, but that is it. It's time to get these ladies some and then we're gonna give it a taste test. Probably aioli. Yeah, put some aioli on Aioli? Alright, never mind. We're fixing to add something else. Very recommend that I add this. It's called what? Spicy aioli. Spicy aioli. So, let's see how it is. Some matcha and lime juice. Well, Caleb, it's spicy. I like spicy. So okay. it's good. All right, there we go. All right, it's time to get these ladies some, and then we're gonna give it a taste test. Ooh, it looks so good. All right, guys. From the bay to my plate, we got it right here. Blackened sheep's head tacos. Let's see how this is. That looks absolutely freaking phenomenal right there. Check that out. Mmm. All right, here it goes. <laughs> wow. So good. Oh my God, there's so much, there's so much different flavors going on. Oh my God, that's good. Guys. Super delicious. Mm. I got so much stuff in my mouth. It's like a 
biggest taco I've ever ate. It's good. But that is it right there, folks. Black and sheep's head tacos. Absolutely phenomenal. I'm probably going to have me about three of these things because I blackened like so much freaking fish. So that's going to be the video, guys. Hope you all enjoyed it. Um, something I've never done before. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Like I said, thank you all for tuning in. And until next time, tight lines and sediment at them.